All right, Julie. Try to stand back a little bit. I'll hold the mic for you, but uh, why don't you share with us a little bit about your life before knowing Christ as Lord and Savior? Before Christ, I was insecure and felt unloved. My father abandoned our family when I was a child. My mother was both verbally and emotionally abusive. I retreated inward and believed that I was the only person that I could rely on and that no one would love and care for me besides myself. I grew up going to different churches and hearing about the gospel, but never really connecting in any way other than thinking of ways that God could serve me. As I entered adulthood, I maintained a belief that if I worked hard enough, I could change my circumstances in life. I filled the lonely void within me by excelling in school, work, and my relationship with my now husband. I believed I was in control of my life. I desired praise and recognition in everything I did. Everything was about me and my feelings, wants and desires, yet nothing seemed to fully satisfy my inner longing of wanting to feel loved and like I had purpose in life. It was a subtle ache within that I tried to fill with my role as a wife and mother. I thought that I was a loving and caring person, but I was loving myself while searching for ways others could make me feel loved, secure, and content within. I was an idolater. My life was spent focusing on my husband's love, my children's love, my material possessions, and my monetary freedoms. I thought that these would somehow make me happy and filled inside. I had a false belief that I was a good person, that I truly believed in Christ, and that I would go to heaven. Sounds like, Julie, you were looking for happiness and satisfaction in the things of the world. How then did you find it in Jesus instead of those things? God drew me to him and revealed to me my true sinfulness through a difficult trial in my life. My husband, who I love so very much, began slowly drifting away from me leaving me feeling like a failure. I tried to be a great mom, but I felt like I was failing at that too. I tried to stay in control of my life that seemed to spiral out of control regardless of what I did. (coughs) I felt like a zombie, a shell of the person I once was. I believed that I was the problem and that everyone would be happier and better off without me. These feelings passed. But my solution then was to divorce the man that I had loved for 22 years and whom I still loved. I told my husband that I wanted a divorce and things seemed to change for the better in our relationship. However, several months later, God then revealed the true brokenness of my marriage, which broke me into what felt like a million unrecognizable pieces. I was no longer the person that I once was, but in that moment, there was no anger or hate only a changed heart. God chose to save me and fill me with the Spirit. I was no longer blind and had been awoken to the magnitude of my own sins. I realized that I was not a good person and that I was in no way morally superior to anyone. When I saw my own sins committed against God, I realized that my sins against a most perfect and holy God were far worse than any sins my husband or anyone else had or could ever commit against me. I was a sinner who deserved eternal damnation, yet God chose to save me. I was a wretched and evil sinner who had nothing to offer and had no reasons I could give to why I should even be allowed into heaven. I realized salvation is only through Christ, who paid the price upon the cross with the penalty of death, the price that I so deserved to pay, but couldn't. Christ, being 100% God, and 100% man lived a life without sin, died and took the penalty of death upon the cross, and was resurrected so that sinners like myself could one day stand and be judged before a holy God and be free from the penalty of sin, a sin that I could not pay for. Romans 5, 8 through 11. But God, God demonstrates his own love towards us, and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more, having now been justified by his blood, we shall be saved from the wrath of God through him. For if while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of his son, much more having been reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. And not only this, but we also exult in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. 
The Lord was not hurting me with this trial. He was rescuing me from eternal damnation. He knew exactly what was necessary to draw me to him. I cried out to the Lord with a heart of repentance and asked for forgiveness for my sins. In Colossians 1, 13 through 14, Paul writes, For he rescued us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. What a clear gospel presentation. Thank you, Julie, for that. Amazing how God worked in your heart and your life, and even in your marriage through that. So, how has your life been since knowing Christ as Lord and Savior? As a believer, my heart now desires to please the Lord in every way. I have a deep thirst to read and commune with God through his written word and prayer. I desire to build relationships with other believers within the church, to serve the Lord with all of my heart, and to share the gospel with the lost. My husband and I now serve in the children's ministry. I desire to live a life that is pleasing to him, and I am learning how to depend on him moment by moment. I still sin, but I do not, do not want to. As the Apostle Paul wrote in Galatians 2.20, it is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself up for me. He has saved my marriage and has made, some, made it something new and beautiful. Thank you, Lord, for choosing to save me. Thank you for bringing us to FBC. Lord, I give you my life. And I pray for you to work through me to fulfill your purposes and for your glory. Amen. Amen. All right, Julie. fruits of genuine salvation is that uh, someone can forgive someone else because they know how much the Lord has forgiven them. Amen? Amen. And this is what we see in Julie and uh, such a wonderful uh, evidence of God's work in her soul. And so Julie, because of your profession of faith, uh, I baptize you now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. <laughs> 